The student orchestra's visit to Vienna in December 1959. Following a curious competition to see who should lead this orchestra, it turned out that the Royal Academy of Music would do so. That meant that I would be leader of the orchestra and Diana Cummings my desk partner. The orchestra was to be conducted by Norman Del Mar and the soloist was Ralph Holmes who would play the Albenberg Violin Concerto. Old friends, Alan Gold, clarinet and Prunella Sedgwick, violin. Unwittingly, I found myself filming Susan Salter Viola. I didn't know her then, but she was to become my wife. The gentleman with glasses is Humphrey Burton, TV producer and musicologist. And here is Atara Bentovin, flautist. I do believe this is where the orchestra was put up. David Misham, Nicola Anderson, Michael Fry. Honestly, don't remember who he was, but he'd have been better off on skis. And my desk partner, Diana Cummings, being tormented yet again by Nicholas Braithwaite, trombonist, later to become conductor. And weren't these the same guys marching in Norway? A quick glimpse of Charles Tunnell, cellist. Here we are visiting the Vienna Opera House. As Susan hides a quick glimpse of the back of Tim Rennish, horn player.
Tim was yet another musician destined to turn towards conducting. And now a brief shot of James Galway, flautist, and David Meacham, violin, another budding conductor. Although I don't remember this cellist's name, I know he went to Beedale School. And the lady in the centre is Ruth, another cellist. Humphrey Burton again, brandishing a camera. Oboist Anthony Camden and bassoonist Kerry, his brother. <laughs> 